everybody. Welcome to It Was Tuesday with your host, James Chen, and a very hungry Nathan here. Uh, we're going to be just talking a little bit about something fun that's coming up. If you guys missed it, uh, earlier in the year, Say Jam did an event called the Say Jam Slam, uh, which he basically paid for, produced, and put on, like, on his own, uh, you know, of his own volition. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think it was, like, sponsored by nobody, at, at the first one, but, uh, you know, it was a big success, and the idea was that he got a bunch of popular streamers to play Tekken in a tournament to you know, learn the joy of fighting games and such and had actual Tekken players be their coaches. Uh, so yeah, uh, he created this uh, Sage Jam Slam. It was very, very successful. And actually, let me see if I can uh, get the name of the people that were in the first Say Jam Slam over here, just to give you an idea of what's going on here. Like, uh, you know, Joey Fury, MYK, FDX, Justin, Kawhi Face Miles were coaches over here. And uh, some of the teams included players like Box Box, uh, Connor Eats Pants, uh, Lily Pichu, Coney Slime, uh, you know, uh, E Rob, uh, I'm a Cutie Pie, Rob CD, uh, Porcelain Mate, like all these really, really famous uh, streamers out there. And he had them all go up against each other. They played in a bracket. It was really exciting and people really en enjoyed it. And Team Joey Fury took that one uh, in the end. Well, he decided to run a Say Jam S Slam 2. And he was like, hey, any streamers out there want to sign up for Say Jam Slam 2? You know, put your name in, <laughs> you know. You, 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 you can't be someone who's really ensconced in the fighting game community. And I was like, screw it. Like, what? Well, I want to play Tekken in this tournament. I think this will be fun. Uh, and so I actually signed up for this. Oh, God, did you not? Uh, you guys didn't actually see the graphics. Well, it was nothing really important. It was just a Liquipedia page that I was just showing a little bit earlier. Uh, but, you know, I mean, like, I, I, I'm not a fighting game guy. I'm a Tetris streamer. I'm a person who streams and commentates Tetris. Tetris. I don't know anything about uh, fighting. I'm not a fighting game guy at all. Uh, like if we actually go over here and we take a look at, you know, Jonas versus uh, Joseph over here the most popular video on Classic Tetris channel over here. This video has 19 million views. That has 19 million views. So clearly more people know me as a Tetris commentator than a fighting game commentator, right? Right? So that's what I am. <clears throat> so, uh, no, I signed up, you know, I asked Sajam, I was like, hey, Obviously, I'm not super good at Tekken. Can I apply? And he was like, sure, go for it. You know, I mean, it's, it's fine. You know, they have some Smash players going in there. So clearly, there are people there with fighting game mindsets jumping in. So, you know, Smash players aren't necessarily not fighting game people, right? So they still have a lot of that mi uh, mindset and stuff. Uh, and so they actually just announced all the people that are going to be in there. And yes, sure enough... I am one of the people that will be fighting in here, as well as alongside, as you can see, FD Signifier, Raditz, Lazy Matman, Slime, Coney, you can see some people coming back, uh, Coefficient, Connor Eats Pants, Josh Man, uh, Shifter, uh, Box Box, Scara, Roy Chiato, Fairlight, Amaz, Shonic, Catlink, uh, J Chenzor, Tetris Commentator, Cerno TV, SK, uh, Zentria, Zentria, Doki Bird, Logan RDJ, uh, VGU, VGU Miho, and ESAM uh, are all going to be playing in this. I mean, obviously, we know ESAM. He's a world-class Smash player who has won Smash tournaments before. Uh, so a lot of these players are here. And I guarantee you, I almost guarantee you, I haven't done this yet, but if somebody wants to, if you go through everybody on this list here, I guarantee you, I'm probably the least famous person on this, dude. I, I think everybody else has like over 100K followers like everywhere. Like, 
these are all really very, very famous streamers uh, compared to uh, sad little old me. So, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just a little fish in a big pond here. But, you know, hopefully I can help my team uh, do really, really well. Uh, yeah, well, of course. I mean, you guys know me and you guys are in the fighting age. You actually don't know a lot of these guys. So, like, if I go to... Uh, like Amaz, right? Like who's like if we go to twitter.com slash Amaz here. 115k followers. See, there you go. See? <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of them are gonna be that way. So um Oh, as a strategy god, there you go. But yeah, this is gonna be really cool. And then of course there's gonna be six coaches, uh MYK, FDX, uh Brawl Pro and Kawhi Face Miles are coming back as coaches. I think Tone and Kaiser are new, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but, uh, with Justin and uh, Joey Fury uh, leaving the, 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 the judge position over there. So these are going to be the new judges. Uh, we're just in kind of like team establishing phase. Say Jam and them are all basically just trying to find out how good everyone is. Try to balance out the teams, make sure everybody is not like too strong on one team, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be coming up. And so uh, this is going to take place uh, May, if I'm not mistaken, May 15th through May 19th. So May 15th is a Wednesday, and I believe it's going to be Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday uh, that we're actually going to be playing some of these matches. Uh, I'm going to be playing in, oh, M like I said, MYK, FDX, Brawl Pro, and Quiet Face Miles are all coming back. So four of them are coming back. But I will be playing this, and I think it should be a fun time. Yeah, it's a team tournament. So they're basically uh, four people on each team. Uh, so, you know, we can root for each other and stuff and give each other strategies and practice with each other and stuff. So I think it's going to be um, uh, a lot of fun. I think it's going to be cool. And like I said, I've been enjoying Tekken. Uh, I just figured, you know what, let's, let's enter this because I think it'll be fun. And, you know, I'm not great at Tekken at all. So, you know, it'll be fun just to go out there and try my best, et cetera, et cetera. My main in Tekken is King, as like I said, in the top tier discourse. And King is really good. And it's fun using a strong character this time. I'm happy to be using a strong character for once in my life. Oh, man, it feels good. It feels nice. So uh, I think this should be a lot of fun. So I just wanted to bring a little bit of awareness to this. And, you know, also thank you to Sejam for letting me be in it and actually playing in it. Uh, I hope nobody thinks that I'm cheating because I've been playing fighting games forever. Clearly, I'm not good at tech. And in fact, a lot of these players that are in there, a lot of them are already in purple and blue ranks, uh, which are higher than me because I'm only still in red ranks right now. So, you know, I know that there's a lot of people out there that are going to be very strong at this game. So I'm not just going to go in and bully everybody. <laughs> I'm going to get my ass kicked by a lot of people. So it should be a lot of fun. So um, if I win the tournament with King, he's going to get nerfed. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh, man. So it'll be players match it, but if he comes tied, we're going to have coach tiebreaker again, right? Is that what they did last time? Okay, okay. There you go. <laughs> if anyone's cheating, it's Esam. Yeah, exactly. He's a tournament winner, man. Come on. He's like the best. Uh, he's like one of the best fighting game players out there. Come on. I'm just humble James, Tetris commentator. I'm a puzzle game player, man. What do I know about fighting games? What do I know about fighting games? So again, uh, really cool. Uh, I like this because this is very similar to a lot of the things that they're doing in Japan, like with the raccoon cups and stuff like that, bringing more awareness into the fighting game community and stuff. And, you know, I just thought it'd be fun just to, you know, branch out myself, do some Tekken stuff instead of Street Fighter. And uh, just, you know, I haven't competed again, and I figured that this would, I, I haven't competed in a long time. And I figured this would be a nice, like, casual environment to compete again, just kind of see if I still get those nerves when I play, you know, in a tournament, et cetera, et cetera. I think it should be a lot of fun. So, uh, Esam is one of the, uh, he's such a strong, strong uh, Smash player. He's a Pikachu player, I think he is. Uh, he's Pikachu, right? And yeah, he's won some like actual super majors and stuff like that. So uh, Esam is ridiculous melee player, a very, very strong melee player. 
Uh, Samus and Pikachu. There you go. But yeah, that's going to be taking place uh, very soon. Uh, like I said, it's going to be starting on uh, May 15th. Should be good time. Should be a lot of fun. And then 17th and 19th, I think, are the other two days. Uh, so yeah, definitely keep an eye on that and make sure you tune in. It's going to be good times. <laughs> if I win and they give a trip to Evo to the winners, I will obviously forfeit that and let him you know, have him pay for somebody else. Like they can pick an MVP on one of the other teams. I obviously will not be taking that prize, okay? If I am on the winning team, I will not be partaking of my free trip to Evo because hopefully I will be a commentator there and they will pay for my trip to Evo. <laughs> any case, uh, that's all I wanted to say about that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys uh, are enjoying a lot of the content here. Just wanted to raise awareness of this event so you guys can watch me get beat up in Tekken and get salty again. Maybe I'll have another meltdown on stream. We'll see what happens. But hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, for those of you on YouTube, you know, uh, just know that the day that this podcast graced your ears is the most important day of your life. <laughs> but for me... It was Tuesday.